Hey guys, it's been about a month since I did the video of fixing the crushed exhaust pipe on this truck. Everything's worked flawlessly on that. And I figured I should let you guys know this has now been the truck that I have been uh, switched to, opposed to that King Ranch. Um, really for no reason other than this one has had a much harder life than the King Ranch has, despite being three years newer. Um, it's in a little bit worse shape. I've had to do more to it. It's uh, still on the original engine, unlike the King Ranch. The King Ranch had a remanufactured engine at 168,000. This truck uh, has 194,000 miles on the original 3-valve 5.4. So I'm going to drive it and keep it alive. This one, uh, I'm going to show you pretty much a little walk around of the truck. It has, it's pretty much, actually it is completely stock. But what I've done to it so far is uh you can't hardly see that in there but the upper and lower ball joints have been done they were absolutely terrible uh it has new brakes on all four corners you know calipers rotors pads whole shebang this the front wheels look really nice you can tell the back ones for the the back ones used to be on the front and you can tell i'll show you guys when we get back there but it has brand new running boards the other ones were crushed Got a little bit of paint chipping right there that I'm gonna have to touch up. It's got little scratches and paint chips like that all over the place that I'm gonna have to touch up eventually. Like, there's some right there. Oh, that's a piece from a tree. But those two I'm gonna have to touch up. There's spots on the bed and the fenders, and the liners like that guy right there. I'm gonna have to touch up. That I'm gonna have to touch up. There's this little bits I'm gonna have to touch up all over the place once this crap weather goes away. Um, the previous truck had the five and a half foot short bed. This is the six foot ten long bed. I absolutely love that. I I've decided that every truck I have from here on out is gonna have at least this long of a bed. Um, one thing I also did to the truck, in addition to the brakes and the running boards, is I put Bilstein 5100 shocks on it like I had on the King Ranch. I had such a positive experience with those, I decided I couldn't go uh, without another set. So, you can see these wheels used to be on the front where the calipers were a bit sticky before we replaced them and they're all covered in brake dust. The other one's just as bad, I'm gonna clean those eventually has a slightly bigger exhaust than the other truck did. I don't know why, but these tail lights are accumulating condensation inside of them. I know that this one is from that water right there. It's all black and nasty, but I'm gonna drill a weep hole in there and drain that out. I mean, at a distance, I mean, now that you've pointed it, now that I pointed it out, you can definitely tell, but if you don't know it's there, you can't hardly see it. It took me two weeks to notice it. And like I said, there's little scrapes and scratches all over it. Wendell Ford in Spokane, that's where we bought this. We've bought all of our trucks through them. They've always treated us well. If you guys need a uh, if you guys need a new Ford, talk to them. I am in no way, uh, this is in no way sponsored by them. I'm just shouting them out because they've treated us well. This truck does have a backup camera. Has the backup sensors. Uh, this piece right here hangs, it's a little loosey-goosey, and the reason for that, when the truck was about, oh, only three months old or so, my dad was pulling a trailer, had the wrong size ball, and he didn't know it, so the trailer bounced out, and you can see right here where it smacked into the piece, and ever since then, that piece has hung a little wonky, but like I said, I don't really care, I don't see it. I don't know how these dents got here, but they're there. Again, it's an older 10-year-old truck, doesn't really rub me the wrong way. This other tail light, you can see the water accumulating in it, but maybe I'll, even though there's no water accumulated in this one yet, I'll probably still drill a weep hole in it just to be sure. Like I said, the other wheels all nice and dirty. I don't know what the red paint is from, but it's from something. You can see that nice brand new rotor in there. Bilstein shocks. I have no idea what that sticker is. I literally came out from the grocery store Safeway here in Spokane one of these days and it was on there. I'm probably going to take it off just because I don't know if that's... I don't know. I'm just going to take it off. But anyway guys, that's the exterior. It does have 
powered mirrors. I put these fish eyes on there because that helps quite a bit. I like that it has, I don't know, I like the white accent on the on the side mirror. Like its winter tires, it's got Wrangler Duratrax on it. Very, very, very good tires. The front windows are tinted to match the backs, just like the King Ranch. Let's go inside the truck. And there's another spot I gotta touch up. This is a this is a random video, so it is a bit dirty in here. I still have normally I'd have this vacuumed, but WeatherTech floor mats. See underneath there, all nice and clean, filthy dirty. On top of the WeatherTech, WeatherTechs are amazing. The seat does have a uh, pretty good sized hair in it. Um, that's just from all the years of it being worn. We have a 2004 and a 2001 that have the same tear. Why the King Ranch never has the tear in the seat, I won't know, but I'm not going to complain. That truck's probably got the nicest seats out of all of them. Adjustable pedals and stuff are over here. Dimming, lights. Show you guys that backup camera real quick. Actually, I'll start it up and run it for you. Turn the volume down on the radio there. Here we go. Has 193,896 miles on it. You can see it was running a little bit ago, so it hasn't cooled off completely yet. The backup camera is up here. It's not very big, but it does help. And there we have it. It has a trailer brake controller. Yes, I know, trailer disconnected, blah, 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 fangled modern trucks. But anyway, um, there we have it. I don't know what the timer's for. I've never bothered to use it. Um, it sat at 05 for a while. Oh, well. So, guys, the inside of the truck, you can see it's actually in pretty good shape. You can see there's little marks in the back seat there. You can see the little spot right there where the seat's kind of getting ripped a little bit. This side, you can see there's two rips. One right there, the other across the way from it. The worst tear, though, by far is this one. The seats have actually aged pretty well for the most part. This was used pretty heavily as a work rig, so you can see, like, you know, all the greasy fingerprints from working on ski lifts and stuff like that. But for the most part, it is a pretty nice truck. This headliner is a little bit loose. I'll figure out a way to fix that one of these days. It doesn't really bother me that much. Um, but overall, guys, it is a very, very, very nice truck. I'm happy with it. Um, it does have the cam phaser lockouts in it. It is on the original 5.4 and the original transmission. 193,896.8 miles. Um, here, I'll let you guys, uh, here real quick, I'll pop the hood. Yes, truck. It runs pretty well for almost 200,000 miles. It is a bit dirty under here, but it's to be expected. One thing. I really don't know what the crap is causing this because I've had the coolant system flushed. You can tell because it's nice and green, the coolant, but there's a bunch of crap in the coolant bottle. I'm probably just going to replace that one of these days. But there's under the hood, all nice and dusty. I'm going to pressure wash it one of these days. One thing that uh, I don't know what it's coming from, actually, if you guys have any input, you let me know. 
what this is right here. It's not really clogging the radiator. It's clogging like part of the AC condenser, but I don't know what this stuff is, but it's like, uh, you can see it's like mud, but anyways, like that's the AC condenser out front right here. The radi main radiator sits behind it. Anyway, if you guys have any input as to what that is, please let me know because I really want to, well, avoid that, but none of the fluids are going down, so I don't know what the heck it is. An Apple Legend battery. Don't know exactly how old it is. One of the most handy things I ever wrote. Drain plug size. Anyway, guys, this is really an unscripted video. Hence why the truck is dirty and the video is disorganized and all over the place. But anyway, that's the new, well, new to me, anyway, truck. Yeah, you can see this driver's seat is just hammered. But it still works. So anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.